Hey guys, I'm Joe, you're watching Theodjo Tech, and I thought in this video I would go over a list of five of my favorite Chrome extensions. This isn't going to be a top five or anything, but five that I think you should check out at least. Now the first one is called Password Alert. This is actually a security extension by Google itself, and it basically alerts you if you're being phished, if you put in your username and password into a site that is not actually Google. It's for Google accounts. So it'll alert you and say, hey, you just typed in your password into an account that is, is not really Google, so you just got it stolen. You better change it right now. And I think it will actually warn you as well ahead of time. So this is definitely a useful extension if you value security, if you have a Gmail account, there's really no reason to not install that one. The next extension is called Citrus. This is a productivity extension, and it basically lets you type in a list of websites that you go on and waste time on, like Reddit, you know, YouTube, Twitter, all those sites, and then you set a timer and then it will automatically block all those websites during the time you have it enabled. So you can't stop the timer. I mean, obviously you go and remove the extension, but the whole idea is you'll try to stick to it. If you set the timer, say for three hours, it'll block any websites that are on that list. It'll say a motivational quote or something. So I use that all the time. A lot of times, you know, I'll set the timer and then forget that I set it and I'm, I'll go to a Facebook or something and say, oh right, I have it blocked and then get back to work. So I think it's a really cool uh, application for those of you who have trouble staying on task, definitely check it out. The next extension is called Google GIFs. This one's actually really cool. It basically makes it so if you search a GIF on Google Images, it will actually play those GIFs instead of just showing the static image on the results page. So you can actually get a preview of what the GIF actually is instead of having to click it and going all the way to the image to see what the GIF is or even if it's an animated GIF at all. The next extension I think is really important. This one is called HTTPS Everywhere. This basically forces a secure SSL connection on any website that supports it. So for example, if you go on YouTube a lot, you might not think to just go type in HTTPS YouTube and get the secure connection all the time, but this will automatically do it for you. It'll say, all right, this allows for secure connection, may as well connect to it securely, prevent spying eyes or whatever you want. And it's just added convenience and security. And I really love this extension because a lot of times I don't even know if a website has a secure connection available or I always want to have secure connection if I can. So it's really nice. Finally, we have an extension called Images. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but basically allows you to hover over an image and if it's shrunken down, it will expand it so you don't have to click through it, such as on Reddit or something like that. If it's an image, you can just hover over all the links without having to click all the way to them. So inconvenient, right? Anyway, it just adds a little bit of extra convenience. It's really nice. You may have heard of a previous extension called Hover Zoom, which was really popular, but that was actually removed from the Chrome store, not sure if it's back up, because it violated some terms. And I'm, I believe they were injecting affiliate links in without telling people, so that was kind of sketchy. But Images, I believe, is a great alternative. I've read about it. It's clean, and it's really basically the same thing as Hover Zoom. So I use that now. And that's basically it. Those are just five of the extensions I use all the time and thought you guys would like to hear about them as well. If you have any other really cool extensions, let us know in the comments section below. By all means, I'm really interested always in finding out about new cool Chrome extensions. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to continue watching, I've got some other videos on the right hand side. You can just click those or look in the description for the same link like if you're on a phone. If you want to subscribe, I make new videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so I think it should be worth it. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys either in the comments section or on Twitter, so thanks for watching as usual, and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.